Hello everyone, my name is Tick. Welcome back to Ground Branch. Today we are going to go on Operation Wild Sentinel, which is the new game mode. Well, the new game mode isn't called Operation Wild Sentinel, that's just the name of this of this mission that we're on, on this time that we loaded the map. But we are playing Intel Retrieval, which is playable now on the Ground Branch Community Test Environment, or CTE in short, which you can find in your Steam library. This is an ex no, not an experimental build, but it is a test build where you can try out the upcoming update before it hits the stable version. So expect some bugs, expect some problems, but... Yeah, basically if you want to try out the new map, Rundown, which I also have a video on, which I uploaded yesterday, uh, go check that out. But if you want to check it out for yourself, you can now download Ground Branch CTE and you will be able to play this new game mode, you will be able to play this new map. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the primary objective. So we need to locate and retrieve the objective and then we need to exfiltrate to the extraction point. So this is new. And this is probably going to be one of my favorite ways to play Depot, the map that we are on right now, because Terrorist Hunt, while a lot of fun, can also become a little bit frustrating on a map this size, right? Because Tangos, yeah, they can hide behind trees, you're going to miss them pretty easily, but here, you don't have to kill everyone. You just go into this area, you retrieve the objective, and then you move to this exfiltration point in the bottom corner. And I think that is probably the best way to play a large size map like this, where you don't have to kill everyone. Anyway, um, I've got the weapon, same weapon as before. I've got the M416. And let me just check the name of the scope. This one is called hybrid. This is called the Spectre DR. All right, so that's probably my favorite scope in the weapon right now, or in the game right now, I mean. <laughs> And we have three spawns available to us. We can do the radio tower, we can do the river bend, and we can do train bridge. Now, one thing that I usually like to do is I like to start at the edge of the map because then I can clear my way forward. And if I start here, I have to worry about enemies being here. I have to be worried about enemies here, here, and so on. Same thing for train bridge, enemies all around us. This, however, might get us closer to the objective. I'm assuming it's in the compound. We could even ignore these enemies up here. We might just want to go for that one, actually. This is not too bad. This one out in the open, a little bit iffy on that one. Train bridge should be... And gets us closer to where I think we need to be. Alright, so of course we need to be careful. We need to keep an eye out for snipers on the roof. We've got to keep an eye out for... Oh, shit. That's already contact. And I have no idea where that came from. It doesn't sound too far away. See movement on the roof there. Not sure if he's right there. He stopped moving, I think. Oh, I think that might have been a hit. I think I saw a little bit of red pop up there. So that would be cool. Oh, Got to give ourselves some time to check out all the angles, check out where the patrols are moving. There's probably some guys on the loading docks right there. Maybe along the train tracks as well. We could take a right here and I think we might want to go ahead and do that. Though we do need to keep an eye on both rooftops if we do that. So maybe being down here will be better. We can... Con Oh, that was a lucky shot. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> that's rough. All right, so let's give that another try. <laughs> I already see movement up on the roof. Two guys. Might want to take care of that as soon as possible. See a head moving away from us. Not ideal. There's one guy still alive right there, I think. One of them is down. Still got people on the roof. I am not liking that. 
Let me check out the left side, see if we can still see movement on the roof over here. Or down at the train tracks. Now what we need to keep a look out for besides enemy are laptops scattered around the place. Because those should be the objectives that we need to hack. Not sure where the other guy went. I'm assuming he's still alive. Again, we need to keep an eye on that rooftop. Now we can climb in here because we've got mantling in the game now as well, which is extremely useful. I like that quite a bit. Oh, holy hell. That's came from up here somewhere. I think. Uh, there's one headshot right there. But still this problem of the guy pretty close. I think. Still a little reload. So need to keep an eye on our left flank, by the way. Keep an eye on that rooftop. See, this is the problem with what I said earlier. This is, you need to keep an eye on, oh, crap, on all sides. Oh, man. All right, somebody knows I'm here. <laughs> yep, on enemies left. Enemies right, probably. Let's just take a sprint up to this wall. Alright, so this is a nice dead corner we can take advantage of. Alright. In between the train tracks is probably a good place to be. I think I did get hit there. So we need to be careful. Probably hit in the arm or the leg, so obviously not fatal. I hear footsteps. But where? On the depot, probably. Top of the roof. Sounds like it might be the roof. All right, you know what? Ooh. All right, those guys are a little bit shocked by the attack. They didn't put up much of a response there, which is perfectly fine for me in this case, of course. Uh, usually they do react a lot quicker to that. So one of these guys will take a sprint before the other guy goes down. But I got a little bit lucky there. Took out both of them before they could do much of anything. And again, definitely, I hear footsteps on my left, but that should be up top. Pretty sure about that. So I'm going to want to clear out that rooftop first, I guess. And if we clear out this rooftop, we can clear out the other rooftop. From there, we might be able to do some sniping all around the compound. See what we can see, clear the area a little bit, and then we can move inside to clear out those areas as well. Now first though, I'm going to want to check behind these containers. Check around the corner. These guys probably will not go down the staircase. Hopefully. I say that now. I don't know. I'm assuming that might be my undoing, but so far this area seems pretty clear. to 
check out this window, see if I can hit anything from here before moving up. Doesn't seem like it. All right. We'll do a reload just to be sure. Actually, we might want to grab a pistol here because this is kind of close confines. And so far, so good. Somebody saw me. Need to stay low, <laughs> stay in a crouched position. Somebody noticed me. Also, need to keep an eye out on the forest again. This is why I like to start from the corner. It's what is oh crap. Over here. Oh boy. I see enemy. Oh Jesus. Come on boy, you can do it. Come to me. <laughs> It's pretty quiet now, we might be able to toss a grenade around the corner there. Yeah. My arms are pretty tired. Got one. That might be a second. We just need to keep an eye on this. We need the backup. Yep. Oh, and that's another guy. That sounds pretty close. Just probably inside the building on a lower level, but... Alright, so... We've got two guys on this roof, two guys on that other roof. It seems pretty clear. Let's give a little, quick little check. Down below. And we can do another check. Well oh, this building got some angles here that could be useful to us. You can see there the door. We can see another window into that upstairs office, though no tangos inside for now. Ooh, not sure if he was there before or if I just noticed him very late. <laughs> Also check out the angles on that catwalk up here, down below. More people walking behind us in the woods, or ahead of us in the woods. Oh no! How was that not a headshot? Oh crap! I thought for sure that was going to be a headshot. Just a millimeter off to the side, I guess. Maybe I clipped his ear, who knows. <laughs> He'll have a story to tell his grandchildren in the future. If he survives this day, that is. But so far everything seems pretty clear. Uh, I got about 10 magazines with me, I'll drop this one. Oh yeah, we could drop down here, I don't, but that's a lot of angles to cover at once. We've got an opening up there, we've got an opening to the left, of course, you've got the whole lower floor as well as the catwalk. I don't think I can get away with clearing that just now. So we might want to walk back down these staircases, or I might go down to the other roof. And then check some more angles from over there. I think that might actually be the better idea. Do a final check. Got a lot of open doors over here. Alright, let's do a sprint. Hope we get into cover before anyone sees us. Crouch down really quick. No sounds as of yet. And then from here, the floor, from for as far as I can see, is pretty clear. I don't see anyone down there. I 
Uh, there will be an enemy outside of the compound still roaming around looking for us that we didn't kill. We might find him eventually though. Because we do need to move in that direction. Now I just want to see as much as I can see from up top of the roof here. Got some houses there. Usually there could be a tango in that direction. He might be blocked by the containers. Who knows? Um, oh yeah, we can. We could go down here. I again, for the same reasons as before, I am not going to want to do that. But there is this other staircase that we can move down on. Zoom in a little bit. Okay. Check these angles. There might also be guys walking around in this little area. Right. Broken glass does hinder us quite a bit, obstructs our view. He's down. Oh man, that's really... That sound <laughs> sounds like gunshots when you're as nervous as I am right now. Can't walk clear. Some movement just there. Gotta check this area. So far, so good. Again, I notice a guy moving around outside. I'm not going to move down, however. I'm just going to keep an eye on that for now. Right, that's <laughs> I see a head poking out there, of course. That guy's dead, but... Spooked me there for a second. Seems to me we clear this area and I do see a laptop down here that might be the objective. I'm gonna have to move down there to claim it. At this point I feel pretty secure. I have uh, I, I have the idea that we cleared this entire area. Of course we need to keep an eye out still. There might be some dead corners that we missed. Of course, there is still that tango outside as well. I don't know where he moved off to. A little bit more concerned about him than about what is left in here, I think. But even so, got to control those angles. Got to check those corners. So far so good. Again, this is where we saw him moving around. So I might want to keep pieing this area. But it seems like he's moved off. Ah, this is the laptop that we need actually. So when we are working on this, we can stop it and it will maintain the progress. But we do need to keep interacting with it to finish the search. Intel not found. All right, so we got to clear another building here. I don't want to move outside because I don't know where he is. I'm going to go back upstairs. I'm going to get back onto the roof. I'm going to cross over to the other building. I'm going to clear out that building as well. Alternatively, we might be able to snipe him from up on the roof here, or from the roof on the other building. Not sure if we will be able to... Oh, and I put in my weapon away, actually. That is interesting. So, that is something we need to keep in mind. I was going to bring up my scope. Didn't work. And that is... 
could have cost me my life <laughs> if at that point I saw that tango. So, yeah, weapon is back out. We'll have another careful little poke. See what we can see before we take that sprint. In the last video I got killed by the very last guy on the map. Help me! Yeah, it's definitely down here. Very close. <laughs> Keep an eye on where I'm moving. I'm just going to take that sprint. Crouch down. And now we're going to move in. See what we can see. That might be him. Nice. Alright. Going to do a little reload there. Want to check this forested area before I'm moving down because here I still have cover. I know there's probably still guys moving around there. I don't even feel entirely safe going down this staircase right now because I know there's this guy I took a shot at who might still be there. Probably went back to patrol at this point. I don't know. Oh crap, 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 yep, there we go. It's off to the right. And I can't hit him from up here like that. He's oh man. Oh man, this is where the weapon collision really starts to fuck with me a little bit. I almost got him. I was looking for him behind a tree and he was off to the side a little bit and wow. Right. I thought I was zoomed out and said I was zoomed in as well. That's another little thing that messed me up there. Anyway, going to clear out this building as well. And again, people are moving around even if I've cleared this before. I cannot guarantee it is still clear. somewhere I think now this is an area I can control pretty well <laughs> can control the angles But again, these guys do move around quite a bit, so they will come upstairs to hunt me down if they know where I am. And I did fire off a couple of shots there. Seems like we have a dead corner. Not a dead corner. Moving my weapon down to rest my arms a little bit and also to uh, to get maximum view of my surroundings. I see a oh boy, that was three of them, <laughs> all in the corner there. One of them noticed me, but too late. I'm gonna check this corner. Should be out of grenades at this point.
Also, I'm not sure how many guys I killed at this point. No, we have a laptop over here. Somebody's been smoking here pretty recently. But that is not a laptop I can use. We're looking for a green army laptop. And I'm assuming it's going to be in this office over here. Now that we have cleared the building, we should be able to go there. Check it out. I think it's, I see it right there. Yep. Now again, at this point, to use this laptop, we're putting away our weapon. So. Intel not found. Alright, so we have another building. But now if you look down, you can see my weapon is slung down on my chest. So, I need to press 1 again to bring it back up. I don't know how many laptops we have in every building. I'm assuming one. And we have one big building left over to clear in this depot. So we're going to have to move over there, clear it out. And again, don't want to be too aggressive in my movements and where I choose to walk. Need to carefully check all the angles, make sure nothing's changed. Move past these train cars to, to move to that area that we were in before. Now, ah, I think, oh yeah, we did get both of them. Oh, look at that. Not sure what he's standing on. That looks uh, invisible, but I guess it's a rock that is not showing up for some reason. Again, need to check this space. We did kill two guys on the loading docks there. I'm assuming that's the last of them, but you never really know. It's one of them! Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's scary. That is really scary, man. I jumped in my chair. I feel like, oh, it's going to, it's going, it's clear. I was going to say that, and literally in the second I was going to say that, that guy jumped out in front of my nose. Literally just not 10 centimeters away from me. That is fucked up. Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's search this laptop. This should provide us the intel we need, I think. There we go. Intel collected. Now let's bring our weapon back out. <laughs> Let's see, what weapon does he have? Because at this point, I'm assuming I can use ammo again. Oh, he has an AK. Because the cool thing is, we, well, we could pick up his AK. And if he had an M4116 with 5.56 ammo, like we do, we could actually grab the magazines out of his weapon and use it for ourselves, which is really useful. Not sure what this guy has. This guy has something we can use, but... He still wears it, on, wears it on his chest, and because it's on his chest, it's part of his body, we cannot interact with it. Which is a little bit unfortunate, and that's something that will change, hopefully, in the future. Should change, I would say. If these guys carry the weapon in their arms, they will actually drop it, and then you can interact with it. For example, yeah, this guy has that. So need to get an angle, and if we hold F, we take, yeah, we cannot see it right now, but I actually did take, physically take the magazine out of the weapon. It's obscured by his knee, but it's no longer in there. And now we have an extra one in our pouch. Very useful. We dropped several. That guy never fired, so it should be a full magazine, I think. At least 30 rounds in there. Maybe 29, because one will be in the chamber of the rifle, of course. Maybe the tactical reload, and he has 30 in there, one in the chamber. Not sure. Alright, so we do need to keep an eye out on our surroundings. Not walk too fast, we need to make sure that we see everyone and everything. We're getting pretty close here to our, our uh, 
exfiltration point. So across that bridge, now normally speaking there is a guy on that bridge, but we did shoot someone in that direction. I'm assuming that is the guy on the bridge, and I think I see him right there. So it does seem like I killed him. But then there's still other patrols walking around here as well. Now there's a little bridge off to that side. Might be people there. There's also usually walking some there's some patrol or people walking towards the helipad, which is where we are walking right now. Or walking towards right now anyway. So I don't want to be on that bridge. I'll go through the little creek. Well, we have a little bit of a graphical error here with the grass, obviously. Got one. These guys are usually never alone, though. But if the other guy has some idea of where I am, I'm going to try to po pick up somewhere else. That shadow looks like it belongs to someone. I think I got him there. I was doing a quick little sprint. <laughs> At this point I'm really missing prone because there are some good areas for going prone here. Right, let's throw that magazine, do a quick reload. This is definitely going to be my favorite mode to play on this particular map. All the other ones, like Rundown, Killed House, you know, like the smaller maps, Terrorist Hunt for me I think is the way to go, because that's just like, everyone is pretty close, they cannot be too far away, you don't have to search for ages if you didn't get everyone. Depot, however, you do get to do a big search throughout the forested area, so this is definitely a map that favors and having an objective that you can finish without having to kill everyone so definitely a lot of fun also works better for me as someone who makes videos because i don't have to spend ages searching the map which will be boring to watch and it makes me have to cut things this however just gives me straight objectives to move towards And to search. I mean, this should be our exfiltration point. Around here somewhere. Unless there's more intel, which I don't assume there is. We move more towards here. The helipad makes more sense, but I know it's in this corner somewhere. Interesting. I think I got everyone, but definitely got the intel. I don't think there's a way for us to, to check the status of the objectives. That might be another function that I think would be good to have. A map to look at, a physical map. So we know where to go. Anyway, um, I can keep searching for a little while, but I think it's safe to say we finished. This is the direction we should have moved in. I don't know if there's other intel as well to be found. I'm assuming there isn't, but who knows, except for the developers, right? <laughs> And of course, this is the testing uh, build, the community testing environment. So if this doesn't work the way it should, this might just be a bug that is not uh, triggering the end of the map the way it should. It's entirely possible. And that is what we are testing this stuff for. So, or maybe I'm just missing the spots where I need to be. Like maybe there is some way to get out here. A boat 
by the water or something else. I don't know. I don't see anything. So, you know what? That's it for this video. Let's assume I made it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys for whatever video I do next. Actually, before ending this video, I had a quick chat on the Discord server and it turns out you have to physically keep holding the laptop. So when I switched to my main weapon, I dropped it. Apparently it's a design limit limitation. I have it in my right hand right now. No, even switching out to a pistol just drops the laptop. And I have to be honest, I don't like that, especially for solo play. But yeah, I've had a discussion on the server. Not sure what's going to happen with that, but basically I'm defenseless carrying this laptop around. So for solo play, that's pretty terrible. I have to be honest because yeah, if I do see something, I have to drop the weapon. I can switch pretty quickly, actually. So it's not that much of a problem, I guess, but it just, it makes you defenseless. Uh, you're holding it in your right hands, which is, of course, the hand you hold your pistol in. Well, actually, you hold your pistol with both hands at all times, so... Yeah. It's not ideal. Anyway, <laughs> just going to run this thing over. I really wish it would just disappear into a backpack or it would just disappear from the world so that you wouldn't just have to carry it with you in your hand like this. Other than that though, this is pretty much my favorite way to play this particular map, at least already, because like I said, it's easier not to have to hunt down every single guy in this big forested area. It's just going to take a long time. And it's always a little bit frustrating trying to find that one last character, unless you're on a very small map. Anyway, this actually should <laughs> finish the mission. There we go. Killed 25 out of 30 guys. So the other guys were close towards the, the radio tower, I guess, or at least in this particular area. The river bend, radio tower, this corner. Everything else though, this pretty much this entire area I cleared, so anyway, again, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed it and want to see more, and I will see you guys for whatever video I do next.